precious people watu wa dhamani i have come to announce to you nimekuja kuwatangazieni that this is the hour of the holy spirit in the church ya kwamba hii ndio saa ya roho mtakatifu kanisani do you know what it means to be in this hour je mwajui inamaanisha nini kuwa katika saa hii that means you have to surrender to the crucifixion of the flesh hiyo inamaanisha kwamba ni lazima ukajisalimishe kwa kusulubishwa kwa mwili Do you remember in the garden of Gethsemane? Jemu akumbuka katika bustani ile Gethsemane? He said the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing. Alisema ya kwamba mwili ni dhaifu lakini roho iradhi. And he began to sweat like blood. Na akaanza kutoa jasho kama damu. And he asked the father if he can pass on this cup. Na akamuuliza baba kama anaweza kukiondoa hicho kikombe. But the spirit that is willing the holy spirit lakini roho aliyeradhi yani roho mtakatifu led him to the cross and crucified him alimuongoza msalabani na akamsulubisha it is the holy spirit that crucified jesus ni roho mtakatifu aliyemsulubisha yesu jesus taught us the meaning of total submission to the will of the holy spirit yesu alitufundisha maana ya kujisalimisha kikamilifu kwa roho mtakatifu and so if i am saying that this is the hour of the holy spirit in the church na kwa hivyo ikiwa ninasema kwamba hii ndio saa ya roho mtakatifu kanisani then what am i saying basi je nasema nini i'm saying therefore submit yourselves unto the holy spirit nasema kwamba kwa hivyo jisalimisheni kwa roho mtakatifu What does that mean? Hiyo inamaanisha nini? That means accept him to crucify your flesh. Hiyo inamaanisha kwamba mkubalieni asulubishe mwili wenu. If you find that you are addicted to chocolate. Ikiwa unapata kwamba umezoea una uraibu wa chocolate. You are addicted addiction. Una uraibu. You cannot survive without eating chocolate. Hauwezi kuishi pasipo kula chocolate. It is time to kill that flesh. Ni wakati wa kuua huo mwili. If you are addicted to this smoking ikiwa una mazoea ya kuvuta sigara na ili hali umeokoka ni wakati wa kuiua ikiwa wewe kama mkristo una uraibu wa bia baridi kila jumapili ni wakati wa kusulubisha mwili huo whatever it is that turns you away from the lord chochote kile kinachokutoa mbali na bwana must be crucified now lazima kisulubishwe sasa i am encouraging you people to fast ninawahimiza mfunge that you may crucify the flesh diposa muusulubishe mwili that is the only way the spirit man can grow in you hiyo ndio njia ya pekee ambayo mtu wa kiroho anaweza kukua ndani yenu but he say lakini anasema that there for this is the hour to crucify the flesh ya kwamba kwa hivyo hii ndio saa ya kuusulubisha mwili that this is the hour of the holy spirit in the church ya kwamba hii ndio saa ya roho mtakatifu kanisani only by crucifying the flesh jesus gave us the blood ni katika tu kusulubisha mwili ndipo Yesu alitupatia damu. Anasema wakati umekwisha. Kwamba hii ndio saa ya damu ya Yesu. Manake Masia akija atakapoiona tu damu ndipo sasa atakukomboa. When you look at your sons and your daughters, mnapowatazama binti zenu na wana wenu. And they are wearing those short clothes they wear in this time. Na wanavaa hivyo vinguo vifupi vifupi wanavovalia katika mji huu. Rebuke them. Wakeme. Tell them no. Waambie la. You are born again. Mumeokoka. We are born again. Tumeokoka. Teach them the truth. Wafundishe ukweli. When they are wearing those tight trousers. Wakati wanavalia hizo longi za kubana. Rebuke them. Wakeme. If you don't tell them they will not know. Usipowaambia hawatajua. This is the hour to submit unto the Holy Spirit. Hii ndio saa ya kujisalimisha kwa Roho Mtakatifu. And only the Holy Spirit can give you wisdom to know what is sin and what is right. Na ni Roho Mtakatifu pekee atakupatia hekima ya kujua kile ambacho ni dhambi na kile ambacho ni haki. So precious people. Kwa hiyo watu wa dhamani, this is the hour to crucify the flesh. Hii ndio saa ya kuusulubisha mwili. This is the hour of the Holy Spirit in the church. Hii ndio saa ya Roho Mtakatifu kanisani. <laughs>